Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Scholar Tech Studio. Let's start another lecture on MSC Addons View. In this video, I will teach you added feature that we can apply on a geometry. Let's suppose first we create a box. Okay, so I have created a box. So under the feature tab we can see that the first option is edge fillet you can see that this edge is sharp and we can make it fillet for that we will select from here the fillet and here we will specify the radius okay now it's uh, the radius of uh, the fillet is one centimeter so if we will select here you can see every time when you are doing modeling in msc items view you have to focus at this place because this is also give you instruction what you have to do see it, it give a message that select the edge or vertex that we want to make fillet so with the help of left click i select this one and then 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 right click see now you can see that these edges are become fillet if we want to make this edge also fillet and want to make the radius of 2 millimeter then we will go back and here we will select 2 or we will select 3.0 centimeter and then we will select this face this face and right click so here you can see that the fillet radius is increases okay so by using this fillet option you can make the sharp edges in uh, you can convert your sharp edges of the model into a fillet face or fillet edge okay let's move to another option that is chamfer if you are a CAD user then you know about the fillet and chamfer so let's we will move to chamfer and here you can see that uh, it's basically the width so one millimeter if we will select five millimeter centimeter then it it will create the chamfer of five millimeter depth okay for that similarly we have to select edges this one this one this one or this one or this one and then right click the operation is failed why because we select the chamfer value is 5 millimeter and our fillet radius from here is less than 5 millimeter so therefore it is uh, failed so must be keep in mind if you have some type of uh, we can say band then the radius of the band must be greater than your fillet and if you want to make the large fillet then we can only select this line not this turn okay so again i select the chamfer and here the value is 5 i select this one and this one and then right click so see now you can see that these faces are chamfered and the distance from this point to this point is 5 millimeter and distance from this point to this point is also 5 millimeter so you can create the chamfer of any dimension but you have to follow the uh, this option that if you have uh, bend or edge then the radius of the fillet must be greater than your assign uh, chamfer value okay so the next option is hole 
if you want to create a hole in a body then you can use this option okay so i select this one and then i have to specify the radius let's suppose five okay so now the radius of the hole is five millimeter and if we specify the depth then it will use depth let's suppose we first we did without assigning the depth okay now it says they select the body and now you can see that our arrow this basically specify if you move your cursor it will change its uh, position okay orientation and this will specify the location where this hole will be made so let's pause this one and just click see and now you can see that at this place the hole is created okay similarly let's suppose we have uh, we have a uh, where okay we have a link and you can see that the link is solar let's suppose we want to create a hole is here a hole is here and a hole is here so for that we will select the hole and here we will specify the value is 2 okay and then we will select the body we will select this body and then we will specify the location you can see that the hole is created but the value of uh, the diameter of the uh, hole is greater than this one therefore it's remove this face okay again this option let's suppose we decrease the diameter radius of this select this body and then specify the location similarly we want to create a hole is here so we'll select this one select this body and then specify the right place and okay so in this way we can create different holes by using this one and uh, the last option is uh, depth let's suppose i uh, want depth of uh, 0 0.1 0 0.1 centimeter select this body and now i have to specify the location let's suppose at this location okay now you can see that it's not a thorough hole thorough hole it's uh, just uh, created the depth of uh, one millimeter or oh, 0.1 millimeter so in this way you can use this whole option okay the next is uh, add boss option so it will create a additional body on this body let's suppose i select this one and here i have to specify the radius let's suppose one radius and the height is let's suppose 10 so you can specify the height then we will select the body then we have to select the location so now you can see that our boss is created extrusion is created so we can use this to add extrusion on our existing body the next one is the hollow option let's suppose we want to make the hollow body then let's suppose the thickness is uh, 0 0.2 okay then we have to select the body and then we have to specify the face right click on it select also this uh, and then we can select different phases and then right click it's uh, cause failure so we have to check why this uh, it cause the failure so I think we have to select both sides so we need to keep this one at that angle where we can select 
the faces okay so we can try to use this one we go to the this and then we want to create feature shell inside then select this body then select this face this face and this face and then right click I think there is a option problem with because we apply different operations therefore it's not creating so we can draw a new box and then we can apply this is our new box okay and then we select this option select this body select this face this face and this face and then right click now you can see that the hollow is from inside the body is hollow is created so these are different added feature that we can use in MSA Adams view I hope you like my video please subscribe my youtube channel so that you can get the notification of my upcoming videos in next we will start the connectors and then we will start modeling we will start from small modeling and then we will do the simulation and then step by step we will make it more complicated and will use uh, the rest of the options one by one because uh, if our model is uh, simple then now we are able to do uh, construct the model and do the simulation so after using this joint option we will move to simple examples of simulation